What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. I thought of an interesting debate, much like the uh, my set debate from the other day. And basically, this is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds versus Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Uh, which one do I think was the overall better show and which one I enjoyed more? And you know what? This is definitely going to be a great discussion and debate. And I'm, I hope to see a lot of opinions from you guys. So, uh, first off, neither one of them even comes close to touching their original Yu-Gi-Oh! That was even before Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series put it on a just godlike level. I uh, just wanted to get that out there. So, my first criteria was main characters. We have Jaden and Yusai. Uh, Jaden basically is this happy-go-lucky guy. He's kind of like Yugi. And he just he wants to hug everybody and be everybody's best friend. And he's got this whole freshman, hey guys, look at me, let's all smile and you know eat pop rocks. And it's just like, oh man, I'm too old to like a character like this. Uh, I mean, I have the urge to stuff this kid in a locker, you know, give him a swirly and put bubble yum in his hair. So not really feeling him there. But on the other hand, Yusai basically doesn't have a personality. He kind of he seems like the Pharaoh, just like not funny or entertaining at all. I mean, is there a personality somewhere in that show? I haven't seen a ton of 5Ds, but does Yusai ever like show emotion or whatever? Because of the fact that Yusai has no emotion, no inherent personality, I have to give the edge to Jade despite the fact that uh, I have the urge to kick his ass. Okay, um, next would be the rivals. Um, the rivals I would consider Chaz and Jack. Uh, I might be a little biased on this one because I actually like the Chaz. I, I like the fact that he's kind of like Kai, but he's kind of a douche. But he's got that swagger. He he has his collar. He has his collar up, which honestly is some pimp shit. But um, he calls himself the Chaz. He makes you call him that. Um, even the duel that was in the GX manga, which I actually read and I thought it was pretty entertaining, he busts out Light and Darkness Dragon off the Ultimate Luxac shit, and I think he's just a really awesome character. He's way better than Jaden, in my opinion. When I look at Jack, it's like, kind of like a failed British Kaiba. He doesn't have a lot of personality, but then again, nobody in 5Ds does. And he's got, is he supposed to be British or something? I'm not quite sure what's going on with his hair, but, you know, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Who knows what's going on with anyone's hair? Regardless, he never really did anything that impressed me. I think Red Dragon Archfiend was a failure for a boss monster. Um, that doesn't stack up anywhere near as good as uh, as Red Dragon. I mean, excuse me, as Light and Darkness. And in the Chaz book, you got uh, freaking Thunder King, if I'm not mistaken. So you definitely have to like that. Okay. Um, third criteria would be the impact on the meta. And despite the fact that the GX era gave us Cyber Dragon and um dark worlds and even uh what, what am i thinking of destiny heroes which um basically were playable and at the highest level for a very long time that doesn't even compare to what 5ds gave us which was the synchro summon which basically is going to be around forever in Yu-Gi-Oh. uh as soon as the synchro summon hit hit the meta it instantly changed the game as we know as we knew it for a good and um, there just wasn't any impact like that anywhere close in uh, 5Ds or excuse me in GX. So I definitely have to give 5Ds the edge there. And then just this is kind of like a weird theme wild card uh, criteria area. Um, I compare Yu-Gi-Oh! GX's um, subliminal gang theme colors where you've got the yellow, you've got what the... Uh, the yellow Ra, which is kind of like the Latin King, and then you have the red and blue Obelisk and Cypher, which are kind of like the Bloods and Crips, in my opinion. <laughs> like, how did nobody know? How did no one like notice that? That these kids are running around in red, yellow, and and blue, talking about you, yeah, man. You're on my turf, and all of this. And it's like, isn't this what got people killed in California in the '90s? And I compared that to the card games on motorcycles, and uh, this is this is like a tie, in my opinion. Um, the whole card games on motorcycles thing was made cool because of the video Little Karibo did. But I just think it's funny that you've got these these high school freshman kids running around wearing gang colors and they're they're playing a children's card game and things are getting really heated and escalated. So uh, I I put that one as a draw. And then we've got um, the duels on the actual show. Um, I don't really like many of the cards that were used in GX because. 
like god didn't Jaden use like the Karibo anything that is associated with the, with the with the freaking Karibo on the show is fail so I almost have to like completely fail every duel on the show based off the fact that Karibo constantly showed up on GX you know even though the Chaz was on there and Chaz for outside of the Ajama thing was actually had some pretty good duels but you know on fi on GX they've got a guy with a dinosaur like skeleton on his head and you know there's like cyrus who is like the most annoying kid ever zane was okay but um this is where i give it the five d's uh they actually had some pretty decent duels um the fact that they could duel on motorcycles um takes a lot of concentration so they're definitely getting bonus points for that and just you know there were, there were actually some pretty good duels i like the duel with the infernity guy um i like the episode where uh i key i think the the black rose dragon girl she synchroed twice in the same turn and um the duels on 5ds were just a lot better so basically i have it tied but i would give the edge just from a show perspective i would give the edge uh slightly to 5ds because it felt like it was a lot less cliched um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX kind of felt like it was made for an 8-year-old, in my opinion. I mean, it was still a cool show, but outside of the jazz, you know, I, I honestly don't think it had much going for it. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, neither one of these compared to the original, you know, especially in America. But, um, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.